Hello, welcome to this lesson in uh, Mastering Engineering Mechanics. Uh, and here what we're going to do is learn about the important topic, the central topic in mechanics, one of the central topics, which is particle equilibrium. And we'll discuss what that means in a minute. Specifically here, we're going to crawl before we can walk. We're going to work in two dimensions. So just something in the XY plane going on. So it'll actually be called two dimensional or 2D particle equilibrium. So let's talk for just a, a split second here about what particle equilibrium means and then I'll write it down mathematically and then we'll solve a quick problem to kind of give you some experience. Um, basically when we talk about particles in mechanics, in this case we're talking about particle equilibrium, when we use the term particles we're not necessarily talking about protons or neutrons or anything like that like inside of an atom, the particles of an atom. What we're basically saying is that we're dealing with large objects like boxes or whatever in our, uh, typically in our drawings. But in our problems, we're assuming that we can treat these large structures like boxes, cylinders, things like that, to be concentrated down to a point. Okay, And that's typically very accurate with what you can do in real life. If I have a chain hanging from the ceiling and I have a big box with 200 pounds of bricks in it hanging from that chain, then when I'm doing my equilibrium calculations, it doesn't really matter the dimensions of the box, how, how long, how deep, and how tall that box is. Really what matters is how much the box weighs, and we can presume that all of that weight or all of that mass of the box kind of occurs at the center of mass of, of the, the square or the, uh, or the box that we're talking about. So we can kind of concentrate the mass down to one point. And that's really the particle that we're talking about in particle equilibrium. We're not talking about protons, electrons. We're talking about, in our problems, we're going to basically assume that everything is symmetrical and we can concentrate the mass of whatever we're interested in down to kind of like a single point. And that's very true most of the time. If you get into more complicated cases down the road uh, where the center of mass is not right at the center of the object and we have to talk a little bit more about what center of mass is and we'll get to all that stuff a little bit later but for now that's what we're going to talk about. Two-dimensional just means two-dimensional. Equilibrium means that we're going to be studying systems that don't move. And I know that doesn't sound very interesting because it's not really moving. But don't forget, this is a course in engineering mechanics and statics. Statics means that things aren't really moving. They're just kind of acting on by forces. There's reaction forces. There's weight. But everything's balanced in such a way that nothing's moving anymore. And we want to know what's happening. What are the tension in the lines? What are the reaction forces that are supporting it to make it stay in equilibrium? Which means to make it stay still and stationary. All right, so particle equi equilibrium, size and shape of the object will not matter, and mass is assumed to be concentrated at a point. All right, so the condition for particle equilibrium, uh, I'll just write it down, condition 